Did you know the first six years of a child's life, they're in a state of super learning? Children are sponges to their external environment. I've given this a lot of thought for my niece and nephews. Jonathan, where are you going today? I'm going to Auntie's and Grammy's. Yay! You like that pumpkin? Yeah. A few times a month, they each get their own one-on-one -on -one special play date. And we have a lot of fun learning, creating, and going on adventures. They get a customized goodie bag <laughs> to take home all their crafts, prizes, and treats. And they love their goodie bags and refuse to throw them away. How many are you going to eat, buddy? How many are you going to eat, Jonathan? A thousand! Oh, we know they <gasps> Yummy! And do you eat it like a typewriter? My nephews love treasure hunts, so combining exercise, animal trivia, math, and teamwork with clues, I've created elaborate hunts for them, and even our neighbors like to get involved. We make vision boards together and really inspire them to use their imagination. And teach values of kindness and generosity. Show me your muscles. Mmm, so strong. Sharing is caring. Right, Jonathan? Mm hmm What did you find? Can you show me what you found here? Right here. I just want to be not ready. Not ready yet? But these are ready. Do you want to eat one? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Tell me how yummy it is. Make sure there's no bugs on it. But God made dirt and dirt on dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. This is such an impressionable age that impacts who they'll become as adults. It is vital we encourage our children to feel capable, smart, and to believe in themselves. <laughs> and to really laugh and play with them, present in the moment. Most importantly is that they always feel loved. All God's children are precious. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I love your heart.